This is your official ballot. Comes in an envelope like this. You unfold it. This first page will have your sticker where you get to uh, reward yourself after you voted. And then this page will show you where there are convenient ballot drop box locations. Um, you can go anywhere in LA County. You do not have to go to one next to your home. It's like SATs. You have to mark your ballot very carefully in blue or black. And then when someone has a write-in candidate that you wanna write in, be very careful. You have to fill in the circle and write their name. And then be sure to notice the first thing you'll see in Los Angeles County, that there are two US Senate contests on the ballot. For one, there's a huge, huge list. Only pick one person out of this whole list, and then the short term will be on the second page. Notice that there's only a few people who figured out that they should be on the short term list. I would reward, I would only vote for someone who managed to do both. And then you'll keep going after that. There's the mayor, the city attorney, and all this is dependent on where you live. So you may not have all the races that uh, I have here. Um, the city uh, special municipal election will be different, again, depending on where you live. My favorite race, and one I think is most important, is the supervisor races. Um, there's a third district election and a first district election. And then when you get, you should probably vote for her, Roxanne. And then as you go all the way through, the governor's race also has a lot of people on it. And you'll get at the end, and it'll show you you're at the end of the ballot. And when you get there and get to the page that's in intentionally left blank, you'll fold it all up, not this page. You'll keep that so you have your sticker. And you will put it inside the business reply envelope, um, return envelope, and put it in and make sure, don't worry about the whole um, You'll, uh, if someone else is returning it for you, you can sign who they're returning it for, but you as the voter need to sign this and you can turn it in. That's it. This is the website here. Do this, uh, which I didn't do, it populates it and then when you come here, it only takes you like two minutes. The machine is a touch screen and each time you touch, you'll then hit the next button. It shows you what to do and it's really pretty simple except for doing a write-in candidate which can get a little complicated and what you have to do is type in the candidate's name they have a list there that you can ask to see or you can look it up online If you get a chance to vote for the supervisor, that is one of the most important races on your ballot. In the third district, I'd vote for Roxanne Beckford Hogue. She's a mother, she's also me. At the end, you get to review all your choices. It'll show you how you voted on everything and you can change it, then you print it. And the printer is a fancy schmancy light up show. Oh, wait, I didn't cast. Oh, I didn't know that meant something. Be sure to cast your ballot after printing.